Some new behind-the-scenes drama inside the state capitol as lawmakers prepare for a new legislative session in January. Our editorial partner, WISPolitics.com, first obtaining this letter, two sentences telling State Representative Janelle Branchin she is no longer allowed in the closed Republican caucus. Quote, this continual issues from the past have led our caucus to lose trust in you, the letter writes. For this reason, this vote was taken. J.R. Ross is editor of WISPolitics.com. J.R., like always, good to see you. Thanks for having me. So the letter offers offers no specifics. Walk us through what's behind this. Well, Branchen wants to kind of define this as punishment because of how she's performed as chair of the election campaigns elections committee, right? That she has explored these various conspiracy theories about the 2020 election and that her Republican colleagues are uncomfortable with what she's found or pushed forward. Talk to her colleagues, however, and they'll tell you it's a matter of trust. And let's remember in politics, your word is your currency. If you can't be trusted, you can't be worked with, right? And there's a lot of stuff, a lot of backstory to this. Um, you have to go through, there have been leaks uh, out of caucus to some conservative outlets that have raised eyebrows, like who's doing this, what's going on. Uh, Branchen was caught on tape uh, that was leaked to Wisconsin right now, strategizing with Adam Steen, who challenged Robin Boss in the primary in this general election. She's just done things that made them go, we can't trust you anymore. now. Let's be honest, uh, anytime you have 60 plus people in a room in politics, there are gonna be leaks. But when you walk into that room knowing somebody will run, you think or you suspect they will run to somebody else, or make you look bad right away, that's where you get this kind of lack of trust and that's what's driven this uh, kind of split with, between Branch and, and the bus for some of you colleagues. Help put this into context, how, how big of a deal is this in the grand scheme of things? So she can still come to caucus, this is closed caucus, when they talk about strategy, when they talk about Kind of how we're going to you know walk out of here together and vote on a bill that's where she can't be a part of what i'm watching is the other shoe she has been chair of that committee this session robin boss has hinted before that's not going to last he has not released uh, committee chairs as of yet we expect once he does that branch is no longer going to be a chair robin boss is leadership leader of a team and you have to have unity on that team when people break away or aren't unified they are not part of the team. And we saw that this past session, people who would challenge the kind of established leaders in the caucus and elections, they weren't chairs of committees this session. It was a signal of, we need to be together. Also, you don't mess with the king, right? You're gonna shoot the king, you better not miss. And so here you have Branchen. Um, she is probably not gonna be chair of this committee anymore. That likely means by maybe losing staff. You know, what's she gonna do going forward? What's her future with the caucus gonna be? She's in a very safe seat but she's going to limit her influence with her colleagues, whatever influence she has left, and what she can do as a lawmaker in some ways. I was going to say, from the people you're talking to inside the Capitol, she responded calling this petty. She says she'll continue to call out what she sees as major issues with the election. What is her future as a state lawmaker? Well, she won't have the platform to raise these issues. Yeah, she can issue press releases. She can go on talk radio. She can go you know, talk to conservative media, whatever she wants to do in terms of like raising these issues. But she, we expect she won't have a committee to call hearings. And what she's done with that committee is have a series of people come through the Capitol who have, you know, raised conspiracies about the voter list, for example, or other things. It's given her a platform to, you know, elevate these theories and to get attention. Without that platform, she can't get the attention she was getting before about these theories about the 2020 election. J.R. Ross, editor of WISPolitics.com. Like always, sir, appreciate your time and perspective. Anytime. Up next, a pricey turkey.